Howdy people, this is Paul Hatter, and we are back playing Arkham Asylum. Um... Okay, what are we doing now? We are... Just give me a moment. Oh shoot, I missed something. Apparently, I don't know what I missed. Taped interview 39. Patient's name is Edward Nigma. At this point in time, I have yet to decide if Mr. Nigma is a suitable candidate for the Titan process. I'd like to talk about your childhood. Miserable. Next. By all accounts, that is where your fascination with riddles began. I believe discussing those years could explain your compulsive behavior. Very well. My father hated me. Always called me a moron. I was determined to prove him wrong, so I entered a contest in school. A twenty-dollar prize to the kid who could figure out an almost impossible logic problem. I won, of course. And that pleased your father? Hardly. He was convinced I had cheated. He kept yelling, You must have cheated! Admit it, you moron! You cheated! But I swore I didn't. And he hit you for lying. I'm sorry to hear that, Edward. Don't be. Who was right? I watched in silence as he brought in the woman. Her skin, now a venomous green. The wanton creature no longer looked like a human being, much less a woman. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. Yet he has once again delivered this female atrocity to our care. Once I have dealt with the monster, I think it will be time to see if green wood does, in fact, burn. Wait a second. I'm not sure if this is where I should be going. Um. And I thought this was the way to Bane. So. <laughs> Seems pretty healthy, all things considered. I vaguely remember all this. Patient interview 44. This is yet another interview with Edward Nigma. I have yet to make up my mind whether he's a genius or just deluded. Whichever one he is, just being in his company is both irritating and exhausting. Hello, Miss Young. You look tired. Anything you need my help? No, thank you, Edward. I am here to help you. We all are. Forgive my arrogance, Doctor, but if you think I need your help, well, you're in the right place. Let's look at it a different way. Throughout your career, you have specialized in bizarre traps and convoluted clues that more often than not result in the death of the unfortunate participants. 
And if the citizens of Gotham were smarter, my games would be merely an amusing diversion. Instead of death traps. You really should be thanking me. Weeding out the ignorant, the stupid, the useless. But don't worry. I think you would survive. What a lovely photo on your desk, Doc. Your family. Mother, perhaps. Put that down. I don't think you're able to get this thing on the first time, first trip round. There's a shortcut. and I'll show it right back. I nearly done with this area, I think. This 
is my final interview with Edward. I have gone as far as I can. I can no longer tolerate his mood swings and tantrums. I have more important work to be getting on with. He will be transferred to Dr. Whistler's care as of next week. Good morning, Doctor. How are you today? Bob, thank you, Edward. You're in a good mood. I'm always in rare spirits when I'm about to be released. Edward, you know you don't come up for parole for another three years. First thing I'll do is have dinner at that Italian place on 19th Street. Seriously, Edward. I only hope Joker hasn't completely trashed the city. Oh well, I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. Wait, have you been in contact with the Joker? He escaped off them weeks ago. And yet, one hears things. What things? What you heard? Oh, something about a surprise party for Batman. I forget the rest. You know Joker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edward, if you know anything, you've got to tell me. Lives could be insane. What did Joker say? You forget, Doctor. I'm the one who asked the girls. <laughs> Sitting in the darkness outside of his cell, I watched the crazed twitching, listened to the disgusting words that came from his mouth. How can I let a dirty animal like this live? He is the cancer I have sworn to protect the city from. I think we head to the mansion next. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. There's some bullet streams in there that I have been spot on last trip. When Amadeus Arkham built way, this fine institution, trip. few would have believed it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who've been treated here, but that is only half the story. Our low security... Wings offer normal but troubled individuals a safe haven for recovery. An extensive breakdown of our costs and healthcare packages can be found at the front desk or at www.arkhamcare.com slash prices. We accept most major HMOs. Our Asylum. About Our staff more, are here yeah. to help you. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, few would have believed it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who've been treated here, but that is only half the story. Our low security. How are you guys doing? Fireworks? What's there to celebrate? Normally I like fireworks, but, well, you know. Fireworks? What's there to celebrate? Fireworks? What's there to celebrate? Fireworks. What's there to celebrate? Welcome to Arkham Asylum. 
Our staff are here to help you. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, you would have believed it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who have been treated here. Shit. But that oh, is yeah. only half the story. Our low security wings offer normal but troubled individuals a safe haven for safe dimension now. An extensive breakdown. I think we can wrap the game up in the next episode, maybe. Um. So now we got all the riddles. So I'll clear out the last couple, next episode, and then that'll do it. Let's have a couple more drug teeth to find in this area. I don't think they're out here. Security deactivated. Should we down here now? That wasn't part of the plan. The vines have cleared off a bit now. The place is still in shambles. I remember this vaguely, the 
thingy on the ceiling. <laughs> Might as well head down to the treatment now. But they get some nerves. Are down here. They're upstairs somewhere. room later. Probably get on my nerves otherwise. Oh, I know this one. I want to get the Riddler challenges finished. But mainly, I uh, want to showcase the um, the, the spread of Arkham coastline that kind of ties in the story of the game. And it's a big part of the sequel, actually. So, oh, there we go. Curse me for a fool! How could I not see it until now? The monster had a confederate! 
I hid in the darkness near his cell and saw with my own eyes one of the doctors whispering to him. She looked at him through the transparent barrier with tenderness, with, dare I say, desire. My skin crawled with revulsion as she kissed the glass. Fighting the urge to dash the woman's head through the glass, I let her continue. That was easy. The damnable clown might have shared secrets with her that would be useful once the mad dog has been executed. I'm sure the woman will reveal what she knows to me. He's talking about if Joker. not willingly, then certainly under electronic persuasion. This is not what I have to do After that, a lobotomy, I think. Unfortunate for one so young. But her lust has put the reputation of Arkham at stake. Still going on. Yes. A lobotomy. The very thing. There is no other way to ensure her silence oh, in this regrettable matter. I finally got something to say. He's rambling. But there's someone new. He's crazy. to go. This is one of the characters that um that would be really cool to see in the games, but he's only appeared in a couple of Easter eggs. Maybe he shows up in the comics. I don't know. I mean, if they do another Arkham game, I mean, you're not really supposed to make a sequel to Arkham Knight. So there's a really ambiguous ending. I spoil it. We could do another prequel or a spin-off. Could even have a different character in the lead. Anyway, what, all I want to see is just um, I mean, you don't, you don't have to get rid of all the villains. I mean, you can still have them in the game. It's, it's just that they should showcase some of the characters they haven't shown up yet. They've, they keep teasing in the games. Oh yes, this is a Riddler's old cell. So I guess... Uh, did he break out before the Joker arrived on the island or after? I know, he's, he's not on Arkham anymore. You don't actually see him in this game. See plenty of him in the sequels. All that is, see him once you do all the challenges. But in this game, he never actually shows up.
This is gonna get on my nerves if I can't figure out. At least needs that. Just gonna check up here. Wait a second, sorry. Also I'm gonna later take the promoter on. Again. I'm gonna be stuck here forever. It's better on the sequels when you can toggle it a lot faster. And get, you can get it when you have to, and then it doesn't take up the screen the whole time because you can get rid of it more easily. And it's only a like, second or so. It's only like a split second faster, but. And that makes a difference when you actually have to play it. This game is really good. It's just that they did improve on it a lot in the sequels. Scan this one already. <sighs> yeah, something else nearby. more going on the next episode. I don't think we'll get to the mansion in this episode, but that's where all the really good easter eggs are. And but what else do we have to clear out? The greenhouse. Um, don't mind me, I'm just hoping we're lost. There's a greenhouse to clear out, and... Oh, and the, um, the main prison block. That's what that's we'll do that one last because that's where all the good Easter eggs are. How did I miss this last time?
back to where we're at the start of the game now. Change it a little bit. Okay, clear that out. Do you need my help, Batman? Do you give up? No, I don't. I'm under control, actually. Okay, yeah. So I've got three areas to clear out. A couple of teeth will have in the hub world. I'll find them soon enough. Wait. We're coming to the front door now, can't we? Still got a little bit of time. We'll see if we can get through the mansion in this episode. We'll save the rest for the finale. Head this way first. No trippy nightmare yeah. sequences this time. Hopefully. Actually, no, that would be fun. Uh, maybe there is another easter egg in the scan that was found. And again, if you go digging through the code, you probably find these easter eggs immediately. That's why I'm surprised nobody found the, um, that. Oh, we'll see it in a minute. The easter egg in the mansion. Teaser for Arkham City. Because it was really kind of unfairly hidden, because there was no hint to where it was at all. Today I have another interview with Crane. Say I am like, forward. I could have just dug I through the code, really so sooner or later they would have found it. I don't like to admit it, but I think he's getting to me. How are you? I keep telling you, this is my session. It was your session, Doctor, but not anymore. Are you okay, Doc? Uh, I think, yes, I... Oh, he's fine. Just questioning his grip on reality. <laughs> Joker's having himself a firework party. Do me a favor. When you find him, stick a rocket up his ass and light it. One minute, the plants were all over the room. The next, they all just kind of died. I never thought I'd see a plant. A freaking plant ripping someone apart. Okay. Yeah, we'll save the warden's office. For the last...
seems like a pretty minor easter egg. But, Ego Strange is a pretty main major character in the sequel, so... Yeah. Also, um... Know how we found the corpse of the, the dude, the, um, the League of Shadows fella, his name I'm not trying to pronounce. Um, about that. It's missing. It's not here. That, that'll come back later on too. But in the next game that is. Nothing's going to happen at the moment. not gonna hide behind the banister and jump out at us, as far as I know. He's got other things to do. I could have got this last easter egg on my first trip here, but I didn't, because I'm dumb and I forgot. I don't have any strategic reasoning. I didn't save it for last to be clever or anything. I genuinely just forgot I'm an idiot. Is there anything that really stands out about this wall? No, it's, it's just a wall. And, and it's still just a wall, nothing happened. You have to, like, get them all in one spot, don't you? Don't mind me. There we go! That's more like it. So yeah, nobody... Nobody knew about this. Nobody discovered it. I, w I would have thought someone would have hacked the code and... cracked it down, but... That's pretty wild. Do they like... I don't remember that bridge from Arkham City. Do they like buy the bridge to Arkham? In the... I don't know. Don't listen to me. Anyway, that's a pretty cool easter egg. concept that well it was pretty cool anyways um yeah I think I'll wrap it up here um in the next episode we will be um we do we'll be heading to the greenhouse and solitary confinement and then we'll be taking down the Joker that should be fun. Um, I think this is where the um, where the scarecrow takes you. Oh no, I don't want to spoil it. I mean, see it eventually. But I think this is where you go to um, in, in Arkham Knight. The final levels when you return to Arkham. I don't remember exactly where. Right. Here we are. Lovely. 
Um, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.